Well, it's kind of a sad day here in, in my house. My wife has had this piano in here for a lot of years. It's been in her family for a lot of years. It has a lot of sentimental value to her and that's why we've been keeping it, but we finally decided that we're gonna strip it down and reuse the wood and some of the parts. And lucky for me, this is gonna be my scrapping a piano video. Yeah. Well, when I'm looking into this piano, there is a little bit of metal in here, here and there. I don't know what these wires are made out of and stuff. I almost thought this whole back piece was solid brass, but as I scrape at it, it's not looking like it. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm thinking maybe some sort of cast of some sort, but this this back is pretty heavy. That's the name of it. Grinnell Brothers Detroit. I'm probably scrapping a million dollar piano or something, but we kind of looked it up online. It doesn't seem like it's worth all that much. And it's really not that old. The exact date of this piano is really not known. Made in America. For the advancement of music. Hmm. That's probably an old school piano. Okay, this is what the piano looks like with the front taken off. It's pretty amazing looking. You know, it's too bad that nobody wants these anymore because there's just so much, you know, there's just a lot of very high quality work that went into this piano, you know, but um, everything's just broke on this, all these little straps in here that hold these are all broke. You can see they're hanging there. Oh, here's one. You know, they're all broke. All the little bumpers inside are wore out and you know, they'd want you probably to replace all this stuff and the wires and they're just cost too much anymore. This backboard I thought was brass at one time and I scraped it away and now I'm wondering if it's just like a coated wood or cast or something so the more I take it apart, the more I'll find out. The people that serviced it, that's the last one that I have there, 72. There's people that serviced these at some point, but 72, that's 40 years ago already, so. I've been a lot <laughs> went into this, so. Pencil, some, maybe I'll get lucky and find some good coins in there, who knows. Well, I'm hit deep into this piano now. I got all the keys out. It's kind of weird, my voice echoes off of these strings now. You're pretty creepy. But uh, the inside of this thing was full of dirt and hair and all kinds. Of but everything just kind of, pretty much I took apart with a screwdriver so far. I haven't had to hammer on anything. Here's all the front pieces of it, the keys, the whole internal piece. Just four little bolts come off of here and the whole thing came out. And this is the only interesting stuff that I found. A couple pieces of paper and some writing on the wood with little computations and some buttons and an old penny. That's the only thing I found was a 63D. And then an old note from somebody, I don't know, but uh, there you go, that's what I've done so far to this, I'm going to keep going, but I kind of like that soundboard. Well, I have the piano tore down about as far as it'll go. Um, I did take all the bolts, I'm trying to take this... Um, soundboard off is like really cool looking it's the soundboard is awesome looking so I'm trying to take it off in one piece and possibly use it in a, another art project or something um, we did keep a lot of the wood intact and we'll store that for future projects the keys are right there and then this is all pretty much just stuff that's gonna get burned but uh, for some reason I have all these bolts off 
all these screws are out and this board is still attached from here up and I'm thinking that it's glued to this beam there's a beam that runs through the whole back here I'll show you behind here this beam runs the entire length and it's solid but I'm thinking that uh, the soundboard is glued to this so and then uh, you can see it's pretty heavy duty in the back but I did find another coin inside the um, the back actually that's always a place you can check with these pianos is down along here stuff falls back there all the time and uh, that's where I found I found right there the 1946 um, wheat penny so you know when you're scrapping out old stuff it's always a good idea to kind of keep an eye out for all the little nooks and crannies that you could possibly find a cool coin or something and like I was saying you know you need to look I couldn't reach behind here so I took the screwdriver and moved it around and I pulled out an old marble so um, like I said when you're scrapping this old stuff out checking all these little nooks and crannies I mean this thing's 80 years old and for 80 years there's been kids throwing stuff back there and things falling off the top back in there so that's a good place to look the other place was that I found the other stuff was behind the keys um, when I ripped the keys out so that was pretty much it for finding good stuff but we are going to try and keep the soundboard and um, I talked about attaching it to the side of the garage for you know it does make some pretty cool pretty cool noise you know? my dogs hate it though there's one of them he hates it